why is it so important to highlight people that are being extraordinary right now? And why is it important for them to listen to the podcast? Well, because everybody is trying to learn something new these days or enhance what they already know. And because State Farm is an expert in financial services and different ways of promoting people to realize their dreams, it's a great opportunity to learn something fresh and extend your knowledge and your topic. What types of topics are we talking about? I mean, I know you have some financial things, obviously, but what else can we expect to hear from you? Well, we're talking about um, individuals realizing their dreams and figuring out what is your passion point and being able to help you identify what it is you want to do in your grown up life, so to speak. And so we'll also be covering information on how to become more active in the community, how to volunteer and give back, and how to celebrate life in general and be extraordinary in all the things that we do. Where can people listen to the podcast? And what's something you think that they don't know about State Farm that they should know? Well, they know that State Farm is the number one insurer, right? But they don't know that all of our agents are small business owners. And so they have vast knowledge on how to start your business, how to grow your business, how to enhance your business for things that maybe you didn't think about before. And so we're excited to be a part of that and know that we are really reaching out to help even people who are not our customers, but the community in general on how to do what they want to do for their own business sake. And do you have any events coming up in Mississippi that we need to know about? Yes, on Monday is the biggest one that we have going on at Berkeley Middle School. Tina Clay is sponsoring a seafood festival for all the students. She challenged them to raise their test scores and they all did it. And she said, whatever you want at the end of the program, I'm gonna give it to you. And they had told her that they hate school lunch, but don't tell them I said that. And they wanted to have a shrimp fest or a seafood festival. And she said, you got it. So Monday at 1.30, they're gonna be having their big seafood boil, um, compliments of Tina Clay. And on top of that, you're going to give them a $10,000 grant to help the students on their further way of being extraordinary. 